it's D. It's the hockey loving flea. It's been a while, lads. It's been a while, a long while. Didn't do much on NHL 20, partly because I couldn't stand the game. Uh, I did a Liam Kirk series, and it started off really well. I started off super fast. I got to Division 5 within the first, like, four or five days. Everything was going really, really good. Uh, and, you know, then I was just like, you know, do, do I put this on? Because it was just a whipping. Like, we got to Division 5, I think we lost one game, and it was the very first game against somebody who had a real, real good team. And there weren't no way you were beating that with a bronze team. It just wasn't happening. So I thought, eh, you know, I'll postpone it from uploading it until I finish the whole series. And then other things started happening. Christmas got in the way, and then before you know it, COVID hit. And then it was like, ugh. And then I tried to get back on it, and that's when they brought Rivals out. So online seasons was dead because everyone was over at Rivals, and there was no way I was being able to go into Rivals with a bronze team. Because uh, it was, I don't know if you tried Rivals, it's dirty. And that's unfortunately what we have now. We have nothing but rivals and hut champs. Both of these modes are disgusting. I hate them both. I wish neither of them were around. But it is what it is and this is what we're stuck with, sadly. Uh, the reason I don't like them is because they're super competitive, both of them. There's nowhere that you can go into and play people and not really say like... You used to get to Division 1, you'd lose a game. Ah, oh, boo-hoo, I lost a game. Never mind, I'll play again. In these, you lose a game and you're like, God damn it, throw your controller through a frigging cat. Whatever. And get really upset because you've lost out on packs and placement and blah, blah, blah. And I don't, I don't need that kind of nonsense in my life. Which is why I've decided to do this series. This series is going to be beautiful because here's our boys. Yeah, mate. <laughs> we got Liam Kirk, the king. We have got the series mainstay, Gordy Howe. Howe for now. He's played 23 games for me in squad battles because, you know, you got to grind them squad battles out early doors to get your, to get your goodies in. I got all of the, um, what they call, the, 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 the icon collectibles. And I was like, you know what, I could probably save up and get Gretzky all the Mew. But I had them last year. And I fancied someone different, so I got Gordy Howe with his little dink on his nose. Because, let's face it, Gordy Howe's top. Everyone loves Gordy Howe. He's got 98 fighting skill, which is top, because we're going to be fighting a lot. He, uh, he's not the fastest thing in the world, but he's got great balance and a hell of a shot. I've got both of his synergies active. Uh, I don't really know how I've managed that, because I'm not the best at synergy building. But hey, never mind. Uh, he's 92 years old. Yep. And there we go. And obviously, you know, Liam Kirk. Liam Kirk is the king. This little, this little get here... I love this guy, he's so, he's just living his life the way it should be lived. He's a beast. He's been traded over, I think it's to Sweden that he's gone to for the beginning of the season. He's like on loan with the Swedish team, so fair play to the lad. I hope he does brilliantly over there. As for the rest of our team, it is made up primarily of, let me just check, yeah, it's L, L2 to go across. It's made up primarily of people who I got, you know, from your, uh, from your welcome backpacks, them crap packs that you get, the, uh, the initial pack to build your team. So these guys are nothing spectacular. We've got Dario Winkler. Yeah, Landon McCallum. He looks like a little baby-faced assassin. He's 16 years old. We're going to get him some goals and do some shiznism with him. Uh, we like him young gay. FBI, open up! <laughs> I'm only kidding. Don't arrest me, please. Well, then we've got Marc-Antoine Seguin. Uh, I think I've got him twice. I don't know how that's happened. But, yeah, okay. Michael Stubbs. Uh, we've got Jacob Kelly. Oh, look at how young everybody is, man. God, they've all got spots. Sean McGurn. Trey Zagazebski. We've got... He's from America with a name like that. Get in, son. Reed Jackman. 27 years old and already going bald. I feel your pain, kid. Ethan Lamond. 16 years old. God, do you know when I was 16, I was out getting drunk on a park. Sloan, Stanick, and uh, of course Liam Kirk because the guy is a G. And then over to the defence, we have Ethan Ritchie who's 18 years old. This little guy here, I could not not put him in. Look at his face. Oh, bless him. He looks like he's going to cry. He's got such clean hair too, look at that. That is a L'Oreal advert if ever I've seen one. So about Ethan Ritchie. Johannes Huss. This guy played for me last year as a bronze. He was higher rated last year. This guy, he was all right. He was one of the guys that we started the thing with. And as soon as I got him, I was like, yeah, mate, we're keeping him. It's just how it is. 
Ethan Sampson, who looks like he's got something going on with the side of his lip. I hope that gets better for you, kid. I'm sure there's some cream out there. Julian Pear, he's, uh, he's took some cracks to the face. Look at that. Scarface. Cole Jordan, looks scared. Charlie Wright, the king, is there. And then over to the goalie. I think I may have had to tweak something on goal. Yeah, because I needed to get um, balanced active. Which is one of the synergies at the bottom. Uh, we're not going to use Eamon McAdam. He's literally just there for that one synergy. I've got other people that I can put in, but he was the only... Um, like he's the only um, thing in the bar. bronze goalie that I had. So I figured, screw it, you know what, we'll put him in there because he's not going to play. Michael Simpson is. He looks like he's been smoking something. Fair play to you, kid. All of these players managed to form together to make some kind of Ultron thing and set off Barrage, Balanced and Passing Playmaker. The reason that I've gone for these is because Passing Playmaker is for Gordy Howe, Balanced is for Gordy Howe and Barrage was just so close to being activated I figured why not. Other than that I wouldn't have bothered because we just want Sins on Gordy Howe and hopefully Liam Kirk. We get one there with Liam Kirk but I don't think we get the other one. I'm not actually sure what the other one is on Liam Kirk. Let's go and have a quick check. It is... What is that? It's like a little Triceratops? Oh, Thief. What does Thief do? Oh, stick checking and face offs. Well, we're not going to need that. He's a winger for a start. But then again, so is Gordy Howe. But we're going to play him in the centre. Because Gordy Howe. Why not? He's a king. So... The premise of this is that I'm going to go into Rivals games. And we're going to play. And then we're going to just cry and scream and swear and all that good stuff that you guys watch me for you're going to see me losing my mind every time we win a game i say every time like we're going to actually win if we win a game we get to nip over to the store and we get to open ourselves one of these premium packs now from the premium pack you get two goal players we get to pick one of those goal players. Or, well, we get to pick a player. You know, I could pick a silver player. I could pick a bronze player. I could completely lose my mind. And, you know, that's how it is. But we get to pick one player. The reason that we get to pick one player is because if we get a Gordy Howe hat trick with Gordy Howe, meaning a goal, an assist, and a fight win, we get to open any of the promo packs that I want. Any of them whatsoever. And I can tell you right now, it ain't going to be any of them really expensive ones because they suck. So it's probably going to be this little one here. Because it's got five items, all gold NHL players, with at least one 80-plus overall player in them. So, 350, I'm, I'm down with that. I don't mind that. I think we've got a better chance at striking gold with that than we do with the really expensive day ones. Although it's tempting to get one of those. I'm not going to lie. Maybe. You never know. But that's the, that's the gist of the series. Right there. That is how it is. So, what we've done already is, on the back of a suggestion from our Norse, is we've thrown all of our beginning five, um, five, uh, five, uh, five, uh, five placement matches. We have completely binned ourselves off. We have chucked ourselves down to the very bottom of the group. I didn't realise, right? I threw every single game, right, all of them, scored no goal, then quit, so the other person got the win, made sure, not a scumbag, uh, made sure that they got the win. Every single game is a loss with a rage quit. I'm in Division 9. How bad do you have to be to be in Division 10? Can you just like, like, how? Like, I did nothing. I literally did the bare minimum and got Division 9. Come on, if you're in Division 10 in Hut Rivals, you've got to let me know. And you've got to tell me what you did. Like, if I keep losing in Division 9, don't we go to Division 10? But how do you... I just don't know. But that's where we're going to start. We're going to start in Division 9. We've got a skill rating of 1045. At the end of each week, we're going to get packs. So at the moment, we are going to get a... I think it's this one, which is just a prime pack. Same rules apply with that one. We get to open it, regardless of how many wins, how many losses, whatever, and we get to pick our player out of it. And that's it. And then with those players, we get to upgrade our team and hopefully get further and further and further. And the aim of the game is to get as high as we can. Probably not going to be getting uh, no ultimate diamond or platinum i'm gonna just call it right now lad yeah. if we ever do get into hut champs we'll play hut champs i really hope we don't get into hut champs ever because i don't like it but that's it that's how it is that's that is the gist of uh guardy house pucked out pucked off 
That is the gist of Gordy Howe's Pucked Off. And I hope you look forward to it as much as I look forward to getting beaten. Which is not very much. I'm sure you can hear the disappointment in my voice. Yeah, it's going to be pretty rough. Well, that was episode... I don't know, zero, I guess. That was the preview episode showing you the team and telling you exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to go and play some games now. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next episode.